So let's look at GPU hardware. Coreweave uh, always has the latest NVIDIA GPUs, and obviously they have a, a very close relationship with NVIDIA. Uh, in fact, what I think is going on right now, NVIDIA is buying back the use of their GPU systems directly back from Coreweave. So NVIDIA is uh, using uh, Coreweave as a channel to provide uh, their uh, GPUs as a service, and then they're buying some directly back from them. And I think that's a lot of these deals are going on right now. There must be some sort of a financial arrangements or some sort of tax deal uh, that that makes this attractive. But I am seeing a lot that a, a lot of that in the market right now. So CoreWeave allows you to deploy new models very quickly. Again, they're purpose built just for AI. They're not built for large databases. They're not built for transaction processing the systems. They're built directly for AI. And I think it's a value to do that. If they're focusing just on that specific workload, then they're able to optimize their offering to provide the best performance uh, for AI workloads and at the lowest possible cost. And I think we're going to come back to that as a core driver uh, for our, you know, a core reason to leverage core weave over, over AWS for your AWS workloads. AWS is a good selection, uh, but they're slower to get the newest GPUs. Obviously, they're not just focused on AI, you know, like core weave. And so they're going to get their own stuff into the stack, but they're going to do so on their own time. You have to remember also, they have uh, some overhead there. In other words, the ability to work and play well with all the other services they offer within the cloud platforms, ability to communicate with databases and middleware systems and application development and test things. So they can't get things out as quickly because there has to be an integration and testing process to make it happen. And not it can't just work you know, on its own, it has to work and play well with all of the other things that are in the AWS ecosystem, you know, which is going to take time that both has that both has value for enterprises that leverage them, but also some uh, diminishing issues around, um, you know, speed to market and your ability to get something up, up, up and running quickly and your ability to adapt and refresh around new technology changes.